Hungry Jack's NBL continues from Wollongong. Adelaide has had a win in New Zealand. Who's going to join them tonight? Tyler Harvey, Gary Clark, hope it's the Hawks. But Sam Wardenberg and co hope it's the Taipans. Adam Ford coaching NBL game 100 tonight. Can he celebrate that milestone with victory inside the win entertainment centre? And the Hawks will want to start well. Been an issue for them their first quarters so far in NBL 24. They just won one of their five first quarters. The Cairns Titans are a fast starting team. That's a good there way to go. start. <laughs> Here's Wardenberg, who Brad Rosen spoke about. He's going to have a big role to play tonight. Miller trying to find Wardenberg. Good ball movement here from the Titans. There's Bull Quoll. Gets the bucket, draws the foul. Chance for a three-point play. And there's on cue, Wardenberg easily gets through. It's way too easy. And again, that's just a straight line drive. With these teams struggling from long range so far. Just one from 13 combined from three-point range. Froling, we can continue that fall. There he is. We had a little in. spell. And he's back and having an impact. Oh, and there you go. He is, as he said, the next evolution of Paul Qual on the offensive end. Just ultra aggressive. Seven points now. And Harvey answers at the other end, just starting to warm up. Albrick again with another offensive board. Finds Young Johnson. He'll take it. Coach, time to move the ball. Robinson, finally. Here he is. And the Hawks bring some pressure. And Paul Quall just oh, says, oh, thank just you. Just keeps going. And he knocks down another one. Fine from Miller to Gack. Tough finish. Both teams continuing to struggle from beyond the arc. Six of 33 combined. From three-point range. Again, they'll go into Froling. Why not? And again, he gets to his left hand. Beautiful. Back That's to his what he does. left hand. Struggling to really get going as Mayans able to go the length. Not finish. And Miller's there to mop up. The Hawks look to push the ball. Time Robinson out. again, out. Adam Ford straight away, you called it Pete, time out, fast start by the Hawks. Here's Miller, kicks it into the corner, that's good ball movement. Wardenberg just two of eight, shooting tonight, here he is again, on young Albrecht, good defence and there it is, can't keep a good man down. Do that. Take the extra dribble. Let it come. You're unguardable when you get to the spot you want. And when he just takes that extra three, that's going to be a charge there. With... Good run from Josh Roberts. And a good finish from Roberts. It's Patrick Miller drives in the keyway and finds Sam Wardenberg for the easy two. So what's the key in, in fourth quarters in close games? I think it's about just trying to understand where your offense is coming from. Harvey! Feet set, knocks it down. That's what you want to see from Tyler Harvey. But it, it, it's about understanding where your offense is coming from, understanding that the defense is going to win this game for you. It's not about just getting the ball in the hole more than the other team. Sean John Lee knocks down a three ball to tie this one up. There's your man, Pete. Offensive glass now, so the offensive end off the glass gets the bucket, levels it again. Well done, young man. Although good hustle, Ulbrich. We know he's got the range, couldn't finish, but Lee another offensive board. That's good hustle. Here's Miller again getting to his spot. Miller continues his form. He thought he was fouled. Tyler Harvey knocks that one down, put him up one. I think they'd get the ball in Patrick Miller's hands. He's been the man to control 
the offense for the Taipans tonight. Here he is. Working with Wardenberg. Letting it fly. What a finish from Bull Quile stepping up when they need him. Over to the Hawks. Can they reply? Clark. Using all that experience. Sets up. No, tied up. It's all tied up. Here we go. The Cairns tight pants looking to start the season 3-1 for the Hawks. They've been magnificent all night. It's been the maestro all night. Can they get a stop? Shot clock to five. He's going to force his way inside again. Oh, he and he's again. done it again. He's they got quick. They've got no timeouts here, the Hawks. It's going to be Tyler Harvey. Tyler Harvey you know special. it will be. He's done it before. From the logo. Yeah. Harvey! Tyler Harvey's done it. Tyler Harvey, you star. In front of the home fans, the top hands are shocked. And you can't keep a good man down. That is what Tyler Harvey does. And the Hawks, they get the win. Have they got a miracle in them, the tight pants? Can they pull a rabbit out of the hat? They won't be able to. It's all over. And the Illawarra Hawks backs against the wall at home. Find a way to get it done. Well, Tyler Harvey, your 19th field goal attempt tonight provided a golden three points for the Hawks. Talk us through that winning shot. I mean, man, I couldn't hit anything tonight. I was getting open shots, but coach and the guys just told me to keep shooting, man. And I know how to do that very well, so, I mean, look, man, the shot went in, but we've been grinding. We grinded this game out. This team is, they're a good team, man, so we just, we just want to come out here with a win. I was in the corner watching that shot go through the air. It looked a little light until it hit the bottom of the net. How did you think when you released the shot? I think every shot I shoot's going in, man. That's why I work on it, but, uh, you know, I'm lucky that shot went in, man, but, God, a lot of guys stepped up. I mean, Jay Roth fouled out. We had a lot of guys step up for us. You've been here before. A shot, a game winner with the last shot. You never get sick of that, do you? No, man, that's why you play basketball. You, you love those kind of moments. How big a win is this for the Illawarra Hawks? It's huge for us. You know, just the last couple of games have been tough ones for us to play some tough teams, but we stick with it. We just got to keep on sticking with it. Eventually, the door will knock over if you keep punching it, so we're just trying to keep going. Tyler Harvey, congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. John Kane Arena in Melbourne becomes a graveyard for visiting teams when South East Melbourne turn it into the fire pit. And today, the Phoenix are chasing a fourth straight win as they play host to a battered and undermanned New Zealand Breakers. We get underway from the fire pit. John Kane Arena in Melbourne, live 100 Jacks NBL. The continuation of round five. And it is the South East Melbourne Phoenix who've controlled the tip here with a chance to get scoring underway. A big crowd in the house as Williams lobs it down low. Mitch Creek from close range gets scoring started. Great start. Mollett picks up the dribble. Now Williams. The undersized Lamb working against him. Williams likes his chances here. Turns to the middle and comes up with the goods. Jackson Cara just so quick. Wow. It's now for the Phoenix, elevating and firing and turning to the crowd as if to say that's how you get it done was Gary Brown. And they've been aggressive and they're being rewarded here, the breakers, as Finn Delaney comes up with the goods, his first score in the game. As Gary Brown shows them some dance steps, a pass Will McDowell right off glass, comes up with the goods. Dow White and batted down pass. Well done, Williams came back to McDowell White in broken play. Pants inside one defender and came up with his first score in the game. McDowell White got it from Pinot. It's back to Abercrombie who dances inside and comes up with the finish for his first score in the game. Works at the top of the key. Now back to his favoured right hand and he is rolling. Four points now in the game. Williams back onto the floor. 
And against Lamb with a height advantage. Muscles his way in from close range. He's now got six in the game. So a double figure lead for the Phoenix. A over a minute out. Pass is picked off. He was just a little too nimble for them there, Will Cummings, and comes up with the finishing touches. He's up the floor quickly, looking for a two for one here, and they get it done. Lamb scores. On that one. He's had his struggle shooting the ball. Four of 16 from three coming in, so that's going to count from Will Cummings. Delaney takes on Creek. Now double team reaching in, so they let the man open Jackson Cartwright, and he makes them pay as he knocks down the third three of the game for the breakers. Parker Jackson Cartwright did well to defuse it and charge up the form was shut down from behind by Mitch Creek, who's doing it all for the Phoenix. Oh. And a high arc on the shot and all the bottom of the net there for Brown. Dow White works to the top of the key. Shot clock to 10. Back sags off him. The alpha goes back to McDow White. Puts it on the deck now, and off glass comes up with the two. At the moment, the Phoenix are rolling, and Modi Mayor has had enough. Working against Mollett to the elbow. It's outside. To the look of it. Parker Cart right now gets him a good look. Glidden ready to measure the three and knocks it down. So they've worked their way back into a 13-point deficit. He's taking them on once more, and it will count and draws a foul on Parker Jackson Cartwright. Step back, right. Good pressure again from the break as they force the error. Chance for Lamb. Clock in the background gets it done on the buzzer. Moller for Williams. Shot clock to 10 for the Phoenix. Nothing on offer in terms of a pass for Alan Williams, so he said, oh, I'll just score it myself. He's got 14 now. Puts it on the deck, pulls up, and comes up with the finishing touches as well. So Alan Williams isolated here against Lamb, takes him on and from close range. And a chance now for Liapa. And the breakers. He wants to go to work quickly. Over did it off the glass, though. Big source has grabbed his ninth rebound. Mitch Creek measures the triple and knocks down back-to-back -back threes here to expand this margin out to 16. Here's Mitch Creek from close range. Gets the two chance at a three-point play, and he's enjoying it. Ben Air goes back to Mitch Creek. He goes back in the Ben Air direction. He's quick release and he knocks it down. Ben Air now three of three from long range. Here is again putting it on the deck, drawing a foul on Gak and getting to the free throw line once more. And now White puts a shoulder down from close range, adds to his tally now with eight in the game. But Dow White, they need it more out of land. They go to Mathian, who comes up with his first score in the game. Breakers have not won the last quarter all season, but they're trying to change that here. Mathian adds to his tally. So it took over three minutes played in the final quarter, and they desperately need a bucket. And the Southeast Melbourne Phoenix finally get one. Comes through the agency there of Gary Brown. Stayed with it and got it done. Still plenty of time for the breakers to work with here. And they've shown a lot of resilience against the Southeast Melbourne Phoenix team. It has been hot and cold. It's been a criticism oh of them as the three ball, the bottom of the net for Finn Delaney. As Michael Jackson Cartwright works for the baseline, that's another two. He's got 27 points in the game. Shot clock to 10. This is Gary Brown. Firing the three. Couldn't get it done. At the end, the rebound. Break is off and running. Quickly up the floor, Abercrombie. Back to Parker Jackson Cartwright, who went to oh, oh. once more. Now he's got 29, and the margin has been cut to five. They've got some work to do. Again, good deep. Offensive rebound, keeping it alive. What a play that is! Making it happen when they needed it, Gary Brown. 
for Jackson Cartwright is off and running, gets to the baseline against Ben Eyre, tough shot, couldn't convert, Mang had a moment with it, but now Parker Jackson Cartwright puts a lid on two more. Brett numbers on the shot clock, they need a bucket, and the big source provides it. He loves it too. Just not enough. So eventually, um, what was looking like a big win for the Phoenix ends up being a narrow survival. We are only five rounds into the Hungry Jacks NBL season, but already so many of these games are important as far as the end of the season calculations go. For the Brisbane Bullets, they travel to Perth on Friday night, pose some serious questions at the Wildcats, and it piled on a heap of pain in the process, defeating them in one of their best wins in quite some time. For the Tasmania Jack Jumpers, a big litmus test on Friday night. They played Melbourne United at home and fell short in the end. They are still one of the best teams in the competition, Tasmania, but are there a few doubts after what we saw on Friday night? Seven on the shot clock. The score so far in this game. Sobi to first, back to Mitch Norton. Knocks it down. Doyle, nice work from Harrison to stay in front. Doyle good enough to find an answer, though. And Chris Smith coming off the bench. Swings to the corner. Josh Bannon. Inside, outside, he's looking very comfortable in this league. He's been two of nine from the field to start the game. Crawford finds a way through and brings it back to two the difference. Easy two for Terrell Harrison. Dang, all the way! 12 apiece at Nissan Arena. Smith short on the three. The Deng pushes the issue. Look out! He knows he's going to have that advantage getting up and down the floor. Smith knocks down the three. Puts Brisbane back in front by one. Karski reels it in. Lux of fortune for the Bullets, and here's Rocker. <laughs> Mitchell with the jack. Jack Jumpers coming off a loss on Friday night. Went down by eight to Melbourne United. And we're winners again this afternoon. McDonald with another three. Justin Schuler not happy. Sobey stays down in back play. Crawford walks into the three. And there is Sobey. He just waited for the ball to arrive and lays it up. Harrison told to go to work. He does exactly that. He uses those long levers to full advantage. If that's what he's going to do. He shouldn't require that much encouragement. Handled that well. Just got to his spot and used his length. Oh, my. Here he is in the open court. Sobey takes off. <laughs> Going down to the last minute of the first half. Doyle from the elbow. They need more of that. One. 
That's one way to take advantage. Get Nathan Sobey open. He's got 12 now and is Brisbane's leading scorer. And that is a nice play. Good pass. And sometimes you just got to do it, but if your team seems a little flat, and that right there is not going to help. Well, that's flat. That's flat footed on the defensive end. And there's some coast to coast action with Crawford. McVeigh with the steal, an 8 2 run here for Tasmania. And it goes for McVeigh. Donald's got his shooting clip up to 45% now for the season. Just, we've come to know. Bannon. Tough jumper. Sobe. Long ball. Crawford, ball in hand, shot clock at five. Got creative. <laughs> he's coming off the bench now. That's what he's capable of. What's best for Tasmania is Jordan Crawford in the fourth quarter. Bannon at the elbow, fires out to Smith, room to move, room to shoot, and time to get it off. Oh, oh throw a prayer up and <laughs> hit it off the backboard. Brisbane lead by four. Tick down to three minutes remaining in this one. DJ Mitchell pounces on that loose ball and scores. All up and in on Milton Doyle. Offensive rebound. Back out for McDonald. He's been big this afternoon. Four of six from outside for the afternoon for Sean McDonald. He's got his hands full defensively with Sobey. Still a four-point lead to the Bullets. Off the inbound. Tasmania score. 83 at Nissan Arena. Good crowd in the house this afternoon. The home team have been very good for most of it, but they're not there yet. Majuk Deng to the rack. He scores. One point game. Norton didn't shoot. Bannon rolls to the cup off the window. We're about due an overtime game. This might be the one. McVeigh from deep. No good. Smith takes care of the rebound. Brisbane walks to the other end to shoot free throws. Wolfram lays it up. And now Justin Schuler calls a timeout. Boy. Can we get this thing in? Oh! Oh my. Stolen away by Tasmania. Oh Crawford to tie it up. Oh. Misses. And the Bullets hang on. They survive a really late scare, but go 2-0 for the weekend and take a big scalp in the Jack Jumpers.